Okay, let's go ahead and practice some more of that U substitution. Uh, so evaluate each of these integrals. So what I usually do is just kind of off to the side. I'll do all that U stuff. So again, U is typically whatever is on the inside of the parentheses, whatever's in the radical, whatever's in the angle, uh, and, and the big stuff. So I know you're going, hey, there's two insides. Well, I want the stuff that's got the big old power on it. So U is your X squared minus eight. And then that previous notation that we did, like we did the u prime, but then we got it down to the du equals two dx. I'm gonna just go straight to here. I don't need to do all this metal stuff. So that'll be du equals two x dx. And you're making sure that everything is accounted for. So like this is, can go into, can change into a U, and then all of this can change into the DU. And again, you don't want a mixture of X's and U's inside the integral. So we have U to the sixth, and then the two X DX, that's the DU. And then integrate. And change it back into terms of x. Okay, so there's the first one. So let's try the second one. And same thing, I want you to equal the, the big stuff that's in there. So x squared minus 8x plus 1. And then our du would be 2x minus 8, with the dx being multiplied to all of it. And that's really nice because that matches up to the rest of the inter integral. So u to the sixth du, integrate that. Well, hey, we saw that before. 1 seventh and u to the seventh, right there. Switch it back into terms of x. Okay, so there you go. That's really kind of how u substitutions work. Um, so let's just try some more uh, with some other complicated, uh, more complicated functions. Oh boy. Now we've got radicals and trig functions and E's. Ooh, lots of stuff. Okay, so I have no fear a mathematician is here. So let's let U equal, hmm, how about the stuff on the inside again? So T to the third plus seven. Okay, so then the DU would be three T squared dt. Let's see if we've got everything we need. So inside the radical is just a u, and then everything else I have a 3t squared and a dt. Hey, that's exactly what I have right there. 3t squared dt, and all of that becomes du. And if you're integrating the square root of u, that's really the integral of u to the half. And if you integrate this, you know, you got to increase the exponent by one, three over two, and then you're dividing by the new exponent, three over two. Well, when you divide by an, a fraction, it's the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal. So two thirds u to the three halves. Plus c and then switch it back in the terms of x, or in, sorry, in this case, in terms of t. So 2 thirds, t to the third plus seven to the three halves plus c. Okay, so the radicals aren't that bad. Let's try a trig function. So with derivatives, you let your u equal the angle. So let's try that and see if it works with 
integrals. So we'll let u equal 4 theta. So the du would be 4 d theta, which is exactly this stuff in there, the 4 d theta. I can switch that out. So my integral now is uh, secant squared of u du. The integral of secant squared, that's just tangent. And change it back into terms of my starting variable or theta. It's tangent of 4 theta plus c. Okay. For ease, when we did u substitution with ease, we usually picked the exponent to be the u. So let's try that and see if it works. So u is tangent x, which means du is going to equal secant squared dx. And that's really nice because that's what I've got in the integral. So all of this becomes e to the u du. Well, what's the integral of e to the u? e to the u plus c and then change it back around. e to the tangent x plus c. All right, part f, this one's a little bit different. You have two trig functions in there. So if you're trying to decide, well, you know, which one is which, you know, what do you want for the u? Um, you know, you, you, you have to pick something. So if you go, all right, u is equal to cosine of theta. So then its derivative would be negative sine of theta d theta. This isn't going to work. You can replace that out with, with a u, but you, you need a, a sine squared d theta. That's not what you have. You have negative sine of theta. You're not close. So this doesn't work. So if what you chose for you isn't working, you know, don't panic and go, oh, that's no solution. Just choose something else. And with trig functions, most of the time, it's the when you choose the u, it's the function that has the exponent on it. So let's just let u equal sine of theta. I'm not going to take the square because I didn't do that before. Um, when you had those quantities, it's like back to like part B, you, you didn't choose uh, x squared minus 8x plus 1 all to the sixth power. You just chose what was on the inside. Well, with this, the inside is just sine of theta. So it's du is cosine of theta d theta. And now it's going to, it's going to work. So the sine squared becomes u squared, and the cosine theta d theta becomes du. So one third u to the third, and then change it back into your original variable. So the u was sine of theta, so it becomes one third sine to the third of theta plus c. All right, let's go ahead and do these last two. I know that's making the video kind of long, but oh well. Okay, uh, well not everything in there is going to require a u sub. So in the homework, they're going to kind of throw in some of these just to see if you're paying attention. Because you can integrate x, that's fine. And then minus, and then you can integrate e to the x. The 3 just stays as 3. So not everything is going to require a u sub. So you not only have to know how to use it, you have to know when not to use it. Okay, this last example, we're going to need a u substitution because we've got this big old mess inside the square root. So u is going to equal x plus 3. And then the du is equal to 
uh, basically one DX. So, okay, so we start switching this around. The radical uh, becomes the U, and then I have the X DX, or sorry, just the DX, that's the DU. And then I've got, oh, I still have this extra X in there. Huh, oops. I, I don't have everything in terms of U. I've got this other they, variable they don't match. So I can't just do that. I have to account for this X as well. So if ever that happens, you can go back to your U substitution equation just solve this for x, so minus the 3 over to the other side. And now you know what this random x can get replaced with. So the x that's on the outside is just u minus 3 times the square root of u du, and now everything's in terms of u. So let's just multiply this out, distribute. So u to the 3 halves minus 3u to the 1 half. And let's integrate that. So add the x, add 1 to the exponents. Divide by the new exponent or multiply by its reciprocal. So that would be 3 and then u to the 3 halves, and then multiply by its reciprocal, the 2 thirds, plus C. And now just change everything back in terms of X. And simplify the fractions as well, so the 3's cancel. And there you go. All right, in the next video, we'll take a look at some more examples and some other stuff you can do with these things.